السلام عليكم يا جاز اهلا وسهلا بكم تشيك اوت انذر ريل مي ديفايس ان تك يوتوبيا ستوديو اند بوكسينج اند ريفيو اوف ذا ريل مي في 3 ذا تشيبست 5G سمارت فون ان ذا وورلد اند نوت جست 5G بات دوال 5G بيسيكلي فيتشر يو كان كونكت ات وذ تو numbers phone numbers ninjas on a dual mode 5g that is crazy that is honestly crazy so of course it has 4g lte but 5g uh, modem inside which is again crazy i don't know how real me done this but xiaomi uh, other bands uh, lenovo huawei honor nokia nano blah 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 <laughs> and just number all these brands none of them offer something like this this is the first cheapest phone in the world with 5g and well, let's do a quick unboxing the price tag is around 200 bucks you'll have the buying links in the description cct shop banggood and gear best links below here we go the content of the box ninjas with the realme v3 you can receive a case some manuals in chinese also a security uh, guideline check with the phone watch uh, what cct shop checked with the phone which is very very uh, rare to find from a chinese e-site shop uh, anyway we have a, a quick charger support 18 watts yes this one has a 18 watts technology 9 watts equal to amperes Check this out, it's Chinese, but you're going to receive in the box a converter uh, according to your country. And we have here Type-C USB cable, plus uh, the tool to open our SIM tray. Beautiful, Ninjas. Anyway, that's it. Let's now move to the phone, the Realme V3. I reviewed also the Realme V5, Realme X7, Realme Q2 Pro. Check that on my YouTube channel. This is the Realme V3, the cheapest 5G smartphone in the world. This is how it looks like. They have a few different colors, but right now, uh, this is what I'm having right now. This is the gray color, yeah? Uh, anyway, so Ninjas, what are the specs? Uh, what are the best, uh, basically, the selling points of this device? I'm going to just go quickly here through the check the software update and uh, show you that this is the review after the latest update you see 220011 slash uh, basically down uh, point a 14 so this is what it added added customized 5g network mode switch for china mobile so uh, the selling points with this device like i mentioned the price uh, 5G modem, uh, dual mode version, 5000 mAh battery in just 64 GB ROM and 6 GB of RAM, 6.5 6 inch large eye protection screen, 13 megapixel ultra clear, 3 shots, we have uh, triple cameras on the back, like see myself, triple cameras on the back. <laughs> and uh, we say it like that, they call it Realme quality. Anyway, uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, just the reason that it has 5G, that's obviously the, a lot of people will get this device because it has 5G modem. Anyway, uh, the, the build, build quality. It's cheap. It's cheap here. It's plastic polycarbonate material uh, for 200 bucks. Uh, the Xiaomi devices will offer you glass or metal uh, or combination of uh, plastic and uh, metal. This one is completely plattered with with plastic ninjas even the frame here but again i have to admit that the frame it looks so sturdy i would even think that it's aluminum alloy how 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 great the feeling of the frame it is but plastic the chassis is back indeed you can feel that it's plastic it's cheap cheap plastic uh, but it's a nice design it is a nice design you can see myself you would think even that maybe this is like a metal or something like that fingerprint sensor is on the back it does have fingerprint sensor included anyway so let's begin here what do we have regarding the design wise and everything this is the realme v3 uh, it has 190 grams 190 grams for 5000 mh battery not bad at all it's only 8.6 millimeter thick that's very thin device for 5000 mh battery you have to admit bro 8.6 millimeter thick okay so what do we have on the right side volume rocker and power button like you see by self plus and minus connected i think they are also these buttons are made from plastic on the bottom ninjas we have one single grill basically speaker uh, we have noise cancel uh, i mean main microphone speaker uh, speaker on the right side type c usb port in the middle microphone just next to the uh, port and we have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack yes this device has 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and we have a dual sim acceptable slot which is something is crazy in just but this uh, version of mine which i'm having it doesn't have sd card support this is the first time i'm seeing a, a budget uh, realme under 200 box a box that it doesn't have sd card support i don't know what is happening on the top we don't have noise cancellation microphone so i think maybe they included here two microphones one the main microphone and noise cancellation but i'm not sure until somebody disassembles this phone on the back we have fingerprint sensor and of course we have triple cameras yeah anyway let's unlock it beautiful so uh, the vessels are fine vessels are honestly fine here for this cheap price tag of 200 bucks a box uh, this just looks very nice uh, front uh, selfie camera and uh, also uh, earpiece 
Fortunately, this de device doesn't have a stereo speaker feature like, uh, example, Poco X3 or Poco M3. It doesn't have that feature. Remember that. Anyway, let's now move immediately to YouTube. Halos, we've done that. Let's begin this review with reviewing the screen itself. We're going to test some video. There we go. The Realme V5, uh, V3. Sorry, maybe in this review I'm going to try to, maybe I'm going to make a mistake by uh, quoting it like with the V5 because I just reviewed uh, two days ago the V5, which is around $50, $60 more expensive with the same chipset, but uh, obviously better specs, design, display, etc, etc. So this is a 6.5 inch screen, LCD IPS, around 88 to 89% screen to body ratio. This bottom bezel is a little bit thick in comparison to other devices, For example, Realme V5, uh, Realme Q2 and Q2 Pro do have uh, they do have it slightly smaller thinner not a big difference but uh, again uh, numbers are numbers 400 ppi screen density ninjas what do we have it is uh, which i mentioned lcd ips and this is uh, ninjas an hd plus screen this is not a full hd so as uh, dimensity 720 this is going to be a crazy great gaming device uh, we will see uh, of course uh, in this review please make sure to check it out i'm going to show you the camera samples we're going to talk about the battery about the speakers uh, about fingerprint sensor face id all of this stuff and of course on the end we're going to do gaming and with the pros and the cons we're going to finalize this review Anyway, the screen itself here for this price tag is just decent, it just is this decent. Uh, what I, uh, I'm surprised is that uh, screens are not bad at all, screen viewing angles are not that bad at all. I'm honestly surprised I'm having this kind of uh, viewing screen experience, screen viewing experience here. Just looks very nice. I'm going to try to do it with the home screen. But before that, let's just check here the, wait a minute, uh, okay, I can't go to the minimum to the bright okay let's let's uh, that, that's the that's the minimum brightness that's the minimum brightness let's go to maximum that's maximum brightness here we're going to check here the viewing angles nice seriously the nice i don't see here color uh, ghost shifting or something like that color shifting that i can see that uh, it's breaking the colors uh, which some LCD IPS panels have and Xiaomi devices have this uh, problem some of them but this one looks honestly this looks impressive for now if I'm real here with you this viewing angles just looks like an LTPS technology maybe bro wow just check my uh, just check my other reviews in just with the AMOLED and LCD IPS you will see uh, the differences in the viewing angles you can immediately notice uh, which device has IPS and which one has an AMOLED but this one here this is very rare to find in, in this in this uh, price tag it's an LCD IPS screen but it has this kind of viewing angles this is seriously great great I'm giving it amazing score here for the Realme V3 okay of course what is the uh, review without testing the split screen option and with the Dimensity 720 here with the HD plus resolution, this just is flawless, bro. It's completely flawless. Check this out. Beautiful. Top charts, events, premium. Going through the apps. Different uh, options here with the uh, Play Store. Fast. That is, that is very fast. Let's go now with this mode. Landscape mode. Oh, just a minute. I need to unlock probably the... Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Auto rotate. Oh, auto rotate is on. I don't know why it's not auto rotating. Let's auto rotate. Come on, come on. Hmm. Okay, so I found the first con. <laughs> it doesn't want to go in the basically landscape mode while having a split screen option enabled. But of course, probably if you enable here just one single app, it's going to go to the split screen option, uh, to the auto rotation, but it still it doesn't rotate it. What, what I meant? What is this, man? Auto rotate. Auto brightness, auto rotate is on. Okay. Let's check this out now. Open the YouTube. That is very, that is very, that's, that's a con here, bro. Check this out. The auto brightness here doesn't work. It doesn't work here. Check this out. So there's a con here with the Realme V3, which I just noticed here while doing this review test for you. Uh, the, the auto the outer adjustment, the outer rotation, it doesn't work, bro. Probably it's maybe a problem uh, regarding the optimization some with the sensor itself. For sure. Okay, just somehow uh, the bug got fixed. I don't even know how, Ninja. This is not a new update. Now, while I was uh, recording this review, uh, right now the auto uh, screen uh, rotation is working, like you see by stuff. I don't know what happened then. God knows 
uh, how this got fixed or how the problem even appeared. Sure, for sure. I mean, first of all, that's a con there, bro. I mean, let's test here the typing and, of course, the touch sensitivity of the screen is, is just seriously uh, absolutely amazing. I don't have any problems at all with this uh, Realme devices. They have a good quality displays and this is one of the best uh, examples, the Realme V3 here right now in my hands. Just no no problems no problems at all you're gonna just be satisfied by the uh by the keyboard by typing by the touch sensitivity input delays the minimum to the minimum let's go to the speaker test realme v3 one single speaker Wow. Okay, and just this is a win-win. <laughs> uh, honestly, it's, uh, maybe it doesn't have stereo speakers, but this sound, uh, the sound speaker on the bottom, it's so rich, bro. It's so rich. It has also this Adobe Atmos Realme. Seems that Realme V5, Realme Q2, uh, Q2 Pro have Adobe Atmos enabled. This is just gorgeous. It's honestly a gorgeous single mono speaker, and I'm just in love with it. It's a pass-pass for me. Testing the 3.5 millimeter has more jack. Wow. Max volume. Wow, that's amazing, bro. I'm giving it from one to ten. I'm giving it eight and a half, eight and a half for a speaker. Also, this is completely uh, a great package in audio side. Great package, but let's just wait also for the mic test. Just recorded something, let's play it back. One, two, one, two, this is the mic check with the Realme V3. My mouth is uh, 40 centimeters away. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, this is the mic check quality with the Realme V3. My mouth is just a few centimeters away. Check, 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 check. Okay, that is a clean, that's a clean sound. It does have noise in the back there. Noise cancellation should work better. Uh, if there is, because I couldn't find here the noise cancellation on the top. Usually with the mo most of the smartphones, uh, the noise cancellation is on the top there. But maybe they included the noise cancellation mic here, the secondary one on the bottom. I'm not sure, bro. And nevertheless, 7.5 score. Uh, for the price tag, uh, Redmi Note 9S and Poco X3. Okay, Poco X3 is around $30 more expensive. Redmi Note 9S, exactly the same price tag, one ninety two hundred dollars It does better. Uh, it does uh, kind of give you better uh, audio uh, quality uh, while using the voice recorder, the native one. Let's go next. Moving on to the performance side, the processor. Let's go immediately here, check uh, a little bit the AIDA 64. Uh, I know a lot of you love these uh, basically applications uh, when I show them in my reviews. The Messi 720 Ninjas is an octa-core chip which you can find uh, uh, in few different devices. A few different devices that they have the same chip. So this is an octa-core chip clocked at 2 GHz. Uh, it has Mali G57, 6 GB RAM, LPDDR4X, and it has uh, 64 GB ROM UFS storage 2.1. Remember that. Uh, it doesn't have an SD card, Ninjas. It doesn't have an SD card, which is crazy. I don't know how come in the heck this one doesn't have an SD card. I can't even explain why this thing doesn't have an SD card. <laughs> I don't know if somebody can tell me why. I would really appreciate it. What what, what the heck, Realme? Why they done something like this? Usually, all like 95% of the smartphones are with this price tag. They have an SD card expansion. Check it out. This is the sensors. We have a gyroscope, magnetometer, proximity light, and accelerometer sensor. Now, let's move to the performance here. We're going to open, reopen the apps. I mean, I already opened them, but we're going to just right now reopen them from the RAM. And you can see myself here that it's absolutely fast. It's absolutely fast device. You're going to be more than satisfied by the speed here for everyday task. Check it out here. The Facebook. Check this out how smooth this is battery smooth of course this is a 60 hertz screen at hd plus resolution you don't get 120 or 90 hertz i mean it's a 5g phone for 200 bucks that let alone that's the reason one reason only that I can have for this price tag when nobody else offers 5g model modem and that's really is doing only so remember that you get the 5g but again you don't get the all the specs which you can get with the other devices 
Anyway, uh, let's move on. Next, we're going to show you benchmarks. Here you go, done 2 2. Uh, already done it with the Realme V5, exactly the same score in just 280, 290,000 max, which I got. It didn't pass 300,000. Not bad. I mean, still impressive score for a $200 phone. This is a very impressive score. Seriously, impressive. Better than the Snapdragon 720 in the Redmi Note 9S. Indeed, it's a better score. Anyway, we have dual band Wi Fi, dual SIM slot, uh, of course, Bluetooth 5.0 technology, GPS, AGPS. This is the GF uh, Geekbench 5 score, the latest uh, version of the Geekbench 5. Uh, we don't have NFC. Uh, we don't have also radio FM with this one. We do have OTA, OTG, Volti, uh, Audio Jack, and of course, Computer Sync, which of course we can comp uh, completely uh, sync it with our uh, computer and uh, move the pictures there and back to the phone whatever we have uh, whatever you want to transfer from the pc to the uh, to the smartphone and then just uh, by the way unfortunately another con here there's a uh, lack of wide one l1 but uh, for the hd quality netflix there's a wide one l3 like cbsf locked and maybe they can unlock it in the future with the future update who knows and this device uh, the mess 720 does have a g cam support Beautiful. Anyway, uh, let's now move on to the fingerprint sensor and face ID. Okay, I just set up the fingerprint sensor. <laughs> that is fast. <laughs> I love these physical uh, fingerprint sensor. Uh, still, the in-display fingerprint sensors will never beat up a physical fingerprint sensor. And this is the proof for you. Check it out how fast this is. Basically, <laughs> oh man, that is very that is impressive. Seriously, that is so fast. Check this out. That is so fast. Unbelievable. Let's go to the face ID. <laughs> oh my god that is also fast well ninjas i have to i have to give a title of this for the realme v3 uh, this is by far the best fastest face id and fingerprint sensor for this price tag that i ever tested this is just insanely fast bro and reliable i didn't have any misses at all did you just saw the face id how fast it is that is crazy bro beautiful thank you realme Okay, so now we're going to talk about the battery of the Realme V3. Uh, of course, you're going to be uh, more than satisfied. 5000 coupled with the 720p plus resolution screen. It's not a full HD, so it's not going to consume that much of the battery. You'll be satisfied. Of course, on the other hand, uh, some of you will say, oh, why full? it's just HD resolution? Why it's not full HD? Again, just this is a great HD screen. This is a great, great HD screen. Like I mentioned, you the, also this device has an 18 watts fast charging support. Uh, yes, f out of the box. You don't have to pay additional and something like that. You're going to get a fast charger in the box itself. So again, of course, you're going to get uh, easily two days of use with this device without gaming. Remember that without gaming, like heavy, heavy gaming. I still don't know any device that can uh, sustain, basically give you two days of use with the kind of hardcore use. It's impossible. Because these, uh, even the applications are get, consume more battery, uh, the screens are bigger, brighter, it's just like many, many, many factors, Nijas, remember that. Anyway, more than satisfied with this device, it has so many great things that it could, you can't be harsh to it. Seriously, for this $200 price tag difference with a 5G modem, can't be too uh, criticizing it at all. Beautiful package. Okay, so soon now we're going to show you the camera samples, camera videos. Realme V3 has a night mode also, which is very impressive. Video itself here, we're going to just show you right now uh, the video resolution. It can even record 4K at Dimensity 720, but of course limited at 30 FPS, 1080p, it can go 60 FPS. This is again very rare, very rare to find on a phone with all these specs and just so absolutely loving it. What I love about the Realme UI skin that is also video watermark. This is very nice, for example, camera comparison. I don't know, for everyday or normal user, maybe this is not a nice thing to add. But we have ultra macro. Remember that this has a macro lens and it has portrait mode, plus the main camera is 13 megapixel. 13 megapixel ninjas, and on the front, of course, we have a, a 8 megapixel selfie camera. Okay, this is Realme V3, 4K test, handheld footage, 30 FPS. Very impressive, it has also 4K for this price tag, 1080p, 60fps. Beautiful. Okay, small out of focus issue here. Back to normal, everything is normal now, I think so. Yeah, now it's normal. I don't know what was that. Now it's fine. 
Okay, this is Realme V3, 1080p, 30fps, handheld footage. Let's see myself. Beautiful. Okay, just walking back. So this is the camera test, selfie camera test with the Realme V3. Judge by yourself, the video quality with the front selfie cam. 360. Exposure, obviously, for this price tag, not good at all. It's blown away. But again, also with almost every single smartphone, this price tag, the exposure is really bad. Anyway, it is sharp. So far, it looks that like it's a sharp selfie camera. Okay, now we're gonna test PUBG with the Realme V3, the Mansity 720 with the GFX tool, 720p resolution in just uh, balanced graphics, extreme mode enabled. So let's do immediately this test. Test it, test it, test it. Okay, we are in just we are in PUBG running here with the Realme V3. This is balanced graphics, 720p resolution. Let's go next. Max graphics. This is by the way the Nest 720 Max graphics. In fact. Huge lag there. Huge lag again. Whoa. Huh. Impressive, impressive results for the max graphics here. Uh, this is the maximum graphics that I went with the Asphalt 9, the Nessity 1020. Impressive. Okay, so my impressions for the end regarding the Realme V3, uh, should you buy it, what are the pros and the cons? Uh, Ninjas, of course, if you are into the 5G, if you want to have a cheapest 5G smartphone, this is the only choice. It's not, it's not like I can give you an alternative or so. Uh, it's really hard to find an alternative for this price tag. So far, that I know the cheapest next to this device, uh, you have to pay $50 more to get a different Realme device or Xiaomi device that has 5G. I think so. Uh, the Realme K30 with the 5G model is selling for 270 a little bit more than uh, 50 dollars, 70 bucks, I think, so something like that. Nevertheless, the cons there's no SD card support with this one. I was shocked that it doesn't have SD card, seriously. 
I don't know what is happening, but only except dual SIM acceptable slot to nano SIM cards in the same time. No IR blaster. There's no IR blaster. There's no FM radio support with this one. Uh, this also has a cheap body plastic design on the back. It's body cheap is uh, basically it's 200 bucks. Again, I can't expect uh, probably if it had more premium design and material used, uh, the price will be more expensive. But I just want to kind of say that it's kind of small cone. Yeah. And there's no ultra wide camera. I don't know why they didn't at least uh, include some kind of basic ultra wide camera which even a Umidigi phone of 100 bucks, bucks have dollars. This one has macro and depth sensor plus main uh, 30 megapixel back camera. So these are the cons so far. If you have this device, let us know. Uh, share your own pros and cons in, this, uh, in the comment section. Price is the reason to buy this device. 5G dual modem, 5G dual uh, feature connectivity, 5000 mAh battery with 18 watts fast charging included. Uh, Dimensity 720, it's a great uh, chip ninjas performance wise and uh, gaming wise. In, even in emulation, it's a really great decent uh, chip for gaming uh, with 6 GB RAM and 64 GB ROM storage. And it has loud speaker on the bottom Dolby Atmos support loudspeaker and just remember that plus it has 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so overall it's a great buy it's a great buy i repeat again there is no choices there is no alternatives that i can do some kind of uh, comparison reference this is the only phone on the market for this price tag with a 5g feature buy it right now the buying links in the description thank you for watching this review